I've got two words for this intro. Lego Godzilla. Hello everybody, I'm Kylie Kid and welcome back to Feed and Grow Fish. I am a Lego goldfish. <laughs> Not quite the most intimidating creature that we've played as in Feed and Grow Fish, but this is what we must play as in order to unlock something that is far scarier. And if you've seen the title of this video, you already know what it is, but I'm not gonna spoil it if you haven't. We're just gonna play, and we are going to grow up this beautiful little adorable goldfish that's made out of Legos, and we're gonna get to the point where we can take down Megalodon. That is our goal. We're playing on hard mode right now, which is always a bit of a challenge. Everything is out to get you on hard mode. I think we also have an additional like modifier to this challenge and it's like super aggressive mode. So basically everything wants to eat me, which is real cool, but it'll be worth it. It might be difficult, but oh man, the thing that we're gonna unlock is gonna be so good. I cannot wait. For now though, I'm just gonna eat some, you know, starfish and stuff. Starfish are delicious and they don't eat me. I exclusively eat them, not the other way around. And that is a, that is a beautiful relationship. If you ask me, hey! Am I about to get eaten by a turtle? No, 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 don't get eaten by a turtle. Plus, if you've ever stepped on a Lego block, imagine what it feels like to eat a Lego block. That, that doesn't seem good. Like your insides are not gonna welcome a Lego block with, with arms wide open. That's for sure. In fact, you might end up in the emergency room. Let's be real, they, those Lego blocks, they got some sharp edges. Oh, we can eat. We can eat this stuff whole now. Holy moly. Okay, little goldfish, you're doing some, some good work. Okay, I can't eat this one for some reason though. What, this starfish is too big? Whatever. I'll chomp it down into the smaller bits and just eat it that way. That's fine. I'm not mad about it. Do I seem mad about it? Okay, baby, I seem a little mad about it. I'm okay. Another starfish that is too large. I feel like once we hit level three, it, it should be pretty good for eating starfish hole, which definitely speeds up the whole process of getting stronger, bigger, better, faster. Okay, level three. Now we're talking, look at this. Still not intimidating at all, but you still wouldn't want to step on him. More. I need more XP. I don't know how much we're gonna have to level up. It's always a little tricky to gauge with some of these, you know, quote unquote, weaker uh, fish because their bites they, they don't do a ton of damage. In fact, if you guys saw the previous episode, which was those Garden of Ban-Ban creatures, uh, the Garden of Ban-Ban monsters are really, really strong. Like their bites do a ton of damage at level one. Whereas, you know, this, this unassuming little Lego goldfish, not doing so much damage, which is okay because every fish is capable of becoming a monster. We've, we've proven it time and time again in this game. And this little goldfish is no exception. He is going to be king of the ocean. We're gonna make him king of the ocean. And it's gonna be a glorious day for, for me, not for the ocean. Cause like, they're all gonna get eaten by a Lego goldfish, which seems like a terrible way to go. I mean, I don't even have teeth. I just squish you. I mean, look at that. Imagine being in the jaws of this creature. It's just like a hydraulic press. Uh, oh, no, no, bad, 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 bad. <laughs> That's ichthyosaurus, right? Not a fan. Okay, level five. Decent progress. Now, the question is, do I uh, broaden my horizons here? Do I go outside of my comfort zone to, you know, expand my diet? I am going to try to eat a turtle which is probably gonna take like 10 years because turtles have a ton of health and they don't take a lot of damage and he's running away and he's faster than me. So you know what? Live your life, turtle. I just wanted you to know that one day, maybe, I will come back and eat you. It was a power play. That's what that was. Can I eat this thing? I can definitely eat this thing. I don't think it's gonna be worth all that much XP, but I can eat it. Can I eat it whole? Oh, I could. No, oh, no, that was something different. <laughs> I thought that I ate it whole. It turns out that I ate a starfish that was behind it. Hydraulic press! Bleh! 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 Okay, 
We did manage to kill this thing. Was it worth it? No, not at all. That gave me just about 60 XP, which is exactly what I get from eating a starfish. And a starfish is much easier to eat than that thing. One hour later. Okay, so the starfish have been good to me. I'm level seven now, which is not really that much more impressive than what I was the last time we spoke, but it's progress. And this ichthyosaurus really wants to fight with me. So I'll give him a fight. I will give you a fight. Let's do this. Why are you, you running now? You're running from me? What a coward. I'm doing four damage with every bite. This seems not good. Like, I don't think we're gonna be able to do a lot of damage until we're big enough to just eat stuff whole. That's gonna be the goal. But on the bright side, we are what appears to be winning. I, I can't see though. I can't see when the when when my camera goes above the water. I can't see anything. Okay, thank you. Why are you running? Why are you running away? You started this fight. You picked it with me, man. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take so long. Stop running away from me. <gasps> hey, we won. Now we feast. Holy cow, that's a lot of XP. Can I eat that? Nope, I gotta break it down into smaller bits and then something is inevitably gonna sneak up on me. Get out of here, you stinky turtle. Get out of here, you weird blue fish. No, no, I worked hard for this. Get out of here. This is mine. I will eat you. I just, I did eat you. And now I'm level nine. That's what happens. He eat. You know what could be a good XP maker for us? I, I think I kind of always do this, but it kind of always works, is the whale shark. The only thing that terrifies me about the whale shark is that I have to cross this in order to get over to them. And this is where our dearest friend Megalodon loves to hang out. Prognathodon too. Don't forget about Prognathodon. And pretty much all the sharks. There's great white sharks. There's tiger sharks. There is black tip sharks and hammerhead sharks. Oh, that's a shark. No, that's not a shark. That's the, the other weird fish that has a face only a mother could love. Okay, we've made it over to the Arctic zone. Now we just need to find the whale sharks. I, I think we're okay. I think we're big enough that the whale sharks can't eat us. That's the only thing you kind of have to worry about is that, you know, being the vacuums of the ocean, uh, they got some big mouths and not in the like gossiping kind of way, like more like the I'm going to eat anything that runs into my mouth sort of way. But also they gossip a lot too, like they start all kinds of drama and it's really frustrating. All right, this seems to be going kind of OK. This guy is getting chomped. <laughs> look at him. He's got all these like little bite marks all over him. They kind of look like little kisses. Oh gosh, what was that? Okay, I'm scared. Um, uh, those are orcas that are making those noises. And I feel like orcas are gonna eat me. Also, these redfish are getting real annoying. Oh my gosh, this is so hard. This is gonna take forever. It's okay. Sometimes when you are a Lego goldfish, your greatest trait is gonna have to be your patience. That's what I'm learning. Also, like, I'm getting a little dizzy. I'm just kind of spinning in circles here. So I might throw up, but it'll all be worth it. Is he dead? I think he's dead. He's dead! Okay, now I just need to eat him. The problem is, is that by the time I break down the chunks of meat, uh, everything else around here is is gonna eat it. It's gonna eat what's mine. No, never mind. It's all mine now because I got big enough to eat all the big old chunks of meat and the fish that I was worried were gonna eat my beautiful XP got eaten themselves. So there you go. Now we're talking level 19. And hey, look at that 26 damage per bite. That's, you know, respectable. Sort of. It's definitely a lot better than what we were at before. And can I just, can, can, can you guys leave please? <laughs> All right, that's another whale shark down. I gotta go first person. Oh my gosh, first person mode is very strange as the goldfish. <laughs> it's so weird. 
It's like, are those his eyes? I don't think those are his eyes, but they kind of look like his eyes just because of the placement. I think they're the top of his head. Hold on, let me, let me zoom back out here. Yeah, those are the two little bricks on the top of his head, but when you're in first person, they look like just derpy eyes, which I kind of love. I love it. Oh, man. All right, now we're on the hunt. Check it out. Another whale shark. We eating good tonight. Okay, level 30. The thing that makes me nervous is that I only have 644 health. I don't think that's very much when you're dealing with Megalodon. He's got a bite that does a lot of damage, and I'm pretty sure it's more than 644, which means that he could just one-shot me. And I guarantee you, I can't one-shot him. So, it's probably in my best interest to find more whale sharks. Or at least some bigger fish that won't kill me. Oh gosh. Well, I guess we're doing this. This is, this is happening. Get back here. Get back here. Get chomped. Get chomped. Get owned. Get destroyed. Please don't bite me though. If this guy bites me, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Oh no. Oh, it's taking too long. I'm so scared. Come on, get him. Just, just make sure that he never turns around towards you. That's the secret. Also, what the heck was this guy doing all the way over here? Why was he over here? He's supposed to be in the, the cold water. This is warm water. He's dead. We win. I am the greatest Lego goldfish ever. Now we just chew him down into delectable morsels and reap the benefits, which is proving to be more difficult than I had thought. It's just taking a really long time. Come on, blow up into XP, please. That's all I ask. There we go. Eat. Eat faster. Please. Just get all of that delicious meat. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I mean, that went pretty well. I, I will say though, the Arctic whale is, is probably the easiest to kill out of the like three main bosses, you know? Because you have Arctic Whale, Prognathodon, and then the the big boss man, Megalodon. Hello, oh, Prognathodon, you're here. Of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little worried about getting in a tussle with you, but I'm gonna tussle. Why? Because you're here. <laughs> okay, his, his face is, is facing me, and that alarms me immensely. Oh, he's he's turning around, look at, look at him. He's, he's preparing, oh gosh. Don't you dare. Don't you dare open that mouth. I can't see him. I'm too big, coward. He ran away, we're going first person. We're going first person goldfish mode. Now we're talking. Now we just aim this hydraulic press of death. Yeah, get him. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Okay, this is giving me a, a slightly bit more of confidence. Uh, what happened to your jaw? I'm sorry. Yikes. Oh, baby. Look at all that XP. Okay. I feel like we are ready. The moment. We battle. Megalodon? Where you at, bud? Is that Megalodon? <laughs> I think that actually might be Prognathodon that I saw in the distance. Yeah, that's Prognathodon. I've already proven my superiority to you. Now I must find the true king of the ocean and squish him into tiny little morsels of XP. There he is, the, the legend. I'm still a little nervous. Like, I feel like this could still end poorly but we're doing okay, we're doing all right. He's dead. Is he dead? Is he dead? Are you dead? You gotta tell me if you're dead. No, you're not dead. You're still very much alive, and I hate that. No, now you're dead. Nope, you're still alive. <laughs> oh, scary. Oh, just keep chomping. Keep hydraulic pressing. Squish him. Squish him into meat paste. Gross. Megalodon meat paste? Let's put that in a bottle. Ew. He's dead! Long live the king! K 
King Lego Goldfish. I just, I have to eat you though. That's part of the, the challenge here. I have to eat you. There we go! Oh! What the? Okay, there. Oh my gosh, we did it. I love this so much. It is Lego Godzilla. Let's do, let's do some damage. Okay, it did spawn us right in the middle of the ocean, which scares me because there's a Megalodon, but look at how fast this dude is. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, how much damage do you think he does? Let's find out. A lot. Turns out it's it's a lot. Um, keep in mind, I am level one right now, and I'm doing over 100 damage with, uh, with a Godzilla that is made out of Legos. Oh, wait, what? Wait, he does damage? I think he does damage with his horns or something. Or like when I open my mouth? I don't know. I don't know what he's doing, but I like it a lot. <laughs> he's growing. Oh, this is gonna be a big boy. This is gonna be a real big boy. Feast. Lego Godzilla. Feast upon the remnants of your foes. Hello. Um, Lego Godzilla is gonna eat you. All right, cool. Don't know about that one. I'm level six. I mean, come on. You at least gotta let me warm up. I'm just getting started. I'm a baby. Okay, these stupid little sharks are taking my, my food. Hey, quit that. What, I can't eat you? <laughs> what? All right, that's a little confusing. But I guess Godzillas don't like eating sharks. Specifically Lego Godzillas. They just don't like the flavor. But isn't Megalodon like the shark? Hopefully I can eat Megalodon. Oh gosh, Prognathodon. All right, we're doing this. There's there's no turning back now. Oh, I'm dead. I don't even know how I died. I'm pretty sure I was on the other side of Prognathodon's mouth, but apparently not. He's got a big mouth. All right, so I'm just gonna mind my own business for now and not get in fights with the the big guys until you know I'm I'm slightly stronger. This is working out though. What about Shamu? Can we eat Shamu? Yeah, yeah, we can. Whale sharks. I mean, need I say anything else? So one disadvantage that I would say Lego Godzilla has, and it's minor, is that his his mouth is is not very big. So we can't eat like the bigger chunks of meat very quickly, but we can break them down into smaller chunks very, very fast because his bite is really good. And once we get to a, a good size, uh, we'll be able to eat those bigger chunks of meat. It won't be a problem. In fact, at this point, we might already be there. We might already be able to eat the bigger chunks of meat. We can eat the medium chunks of meat. So that's promising. We can eat sardines, yum. Now I feel like I need to- Oh my goodness gracious! That was a full on Megalodon ambush. He just completely ninja'd me. Who would have thought I'd have a harder time as a Lego Godzilla than a Lego goldfish that has no teeth? Oh, look who I found. Just chomping away. Okay, all right, that's just horrifying. So now Megalodon is even stronger than he was before. That's that's great news for nobody. Get over here, you stinky red fish. Get, come, get back here. Why are you running away, coward? That's right. All right, so things are going okay. I'm level seven. I'm, I'm feeling dandy, just dandy. Now I just need to level up like 20 more times and I'm set. That's easy. I'm gonna eat some seal. Yum. Where are my whale sharks at though? Those are my, my boys. Oh, there they are. Hey. Also, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about Styxosaurus. Also my guy. Oh yeah, now we're talking. This is what we've been dreaming of. As long as nothing else comes over here and ruins my day. Like you? What the heck, man? You're just so rude. He's so rude. Get a life, 
Megalodon. He's gonna come over. He's coming over. Get out of there. Go just run for your life, man. No looking back. Although, I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna run for my life. I get we're on like mega aggressive mode, but <laughs> Megalodon going like outside of his standard limits is is very annoying. I love that though. Did you see how much XP we just got? Eat it. Eat all of the meats. Oh yeah, okay. Can I eat the bigger chunks whole yet? I can't eat them whole yet? Now, yes, now I can. Yep, okay. Ooh, Megalodon, you're in trouble, buddy. You're in trouble, look at that. Now, I do kind of wish that I could see a little bit better. That, that would be nice. Do I have to go first person? Do I gotta go first person Godzilla Lego man? <laughs> can I? Oh no, I can't. It's just pure darkness. <laughs> you can see my arms. <laughs> All right, well, that's not gonna work. We're just gonna have to make do with this situation. That's fine. There he is. He is feasting. Oh my gosh, this is scary. This is still very scary. I gotta bite him. I gotta bite him. Oh, 4,000 damage. Yeah! Who's the king of the ocean now, Megalodon? That's right. Lego Godzilla. And you know what? To celebrate our amazing victory, we're doing one of these. That's right. We're going, we're going insano mode. Level 100. Level 100. Also, I wanted to mention that Azza added something to the mod menu that is so beautifully life-changing for me. I don't know if you guys remember, but when I wanted to zoom out after making my monsters like really, really big, uh, it took forever. I had to hit the scroll wheel like a million times. He added a function where you can increase the amount that it zooms in and out when you scroll the wheel. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. So now I can, I can see the glory of our creations in all of their, their just, their majesty. All, look at that, it's just stupid. Honestly, it's, it's stupid, but I love it. We're still going. We're still making this dude, it'll, he's gonna be as big as the entire map. He's just standing on the floor of, of the world. I'm pretty sure this is the, the biggest creation that we've ever uh, seen in Feed and Grow, and um, he, he's he's just too big. Let's let's get real dumb. Even dumber than we already have gotten. Um, every time I press the button, it's gonna level me up 100 levels. So, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, you know, where did I go? There we go. Well, let's go to level 1,000. How about level 2,000? I'm I'm dis I've disappeared. I've, I've gone to outer space. That's what's happened. I am now no longer in this dimension. All you see is his tail, his feet now. <laughs> awesome.